What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Center Beacon. It's been a few days since I've uploaded a video. Real life, she gets in the way sometimes. So I'm back here with a little video that kind of encapsulates those moments where we wish we hadn't even logged into the game. Ran a match a few nights ago, and let's just say not everybody was on the same page. And when that happens in this game, you end up facing pretty much like full clans in gold loaded with rhinos and whatnot. And that's kind of what happened here and I'll kind of take you through it a piece at a time. I already know I'm in trouble because I see we got a full clan or, or thereabouts on the other side of this uh, This is Springfield here. Uh, we got the good spawn, though. And you can kind of see to the right there, there's pretty much a freight train of rhinos going across those bridges to you know dominate and own and whatnot. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and do our normal thing. We're actually, we're kind of in our silver gear here, uh, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, that is obviously, you know, a, a gold clan across the way from us. We're just going to kind of do our normal thing. We're going to do a normal spawn raid here. You can see we've got lots of uh, nice shiny magnums and gepards. And we're going to go see what we can get done across the way here. Um, but the reason that this battle happened, I'm sure you guys have had this happen where, you know, you're running with some buddies and, you know, hey, do you have, you know, are you silver, are you silver, are you this, are you that? Yeah, 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 I'm good, let's go, let's go. And then you get over there and into the match and, you know, it's nothing but, like, maxed rhinos. You can see this, uh, triple orkin, uh, what is that, the Fujin or whatever, basically is there long enough to absolutely obliterate me and then magically disappears and then I'm in their spawn. And it's rhinos, you know. It's just rhinos, and it's me. Now, in in this uh, this setup, I mean, my my weapons are pretty much maxed. I mean, you know, but still, you can see what I'm kind of contending with here. I got to deal with the plasma rhino. Fortunately, my wingman there is uh, doing some pretty decent damage, and that is about the highlight of the video because after this, it just becomes remarkably dismal and bleak and depressing. And you can see here, I eat the uh, obligatory, uh, typical, standard issue Rhino Rocket Storm. And that's first bot down. Um, you can see there, though, I mean, like, you know, two Gepards, uh, you know, we, we handled that one Rhino. But uh, from there, I mean, it just basically, we can't even really get out of the spawn here. You're going to see, uh, coming up over this ridge, you know, they've pretty much secured the center. They have those flank beacons, and I'm just eating all kinds of fire. There's not a lot I can do here when you're only bringing, you know, 61,000 hit points to the fight type thing. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you guys have had games like this, and it's just like, man, why did that guy not listen? We told him very clearly, you know, very uh, uh, in exacting detail, hey, you can run this, this, and this, but you cannot run, you know, anything higher. And, and he, you know, he said that he had it, and clearly he didn't, because, you know, we're just getting chewed up here, and, I mean, we can't even put out, you know, uh, the damn stalker is doing as much killing as the rhinos are over here on us, so, you know, but that's what happens, um, sometimes, you know, you get a match like this, and you just kind of roll with it, and, and, you know, we had fun, and it was, you know, we played a series of matches that night, you can see we actually got a couple kills there, and then, you know, maybe I'm thinking, oh, I can almost get the center beacon back, and we can turn this thing around, guys. But not really so much, because, you know, when you start putting bots out, well, then, you know, what that means, that means they're going to be pouring out of their spawn again. And, you know, I'm getting eaten alive over here by the rhino and the stalker, and my ill-timed jump there, you know, pretty much lands me in front of where I actually wanted to be, but I just rolled with it. And, you know, now I'm taking fire from three different directions. And last bot time, the final bot, you know, meanwhile they're stealing our spawn beacon as if it, uh, you know, wasn't embarrassing enough. But, you know, for, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are running even lower level stuff than, than I'm running, you know, we, you know, we did okay here for about 35 seconds or so. Um, but that happens, you know, and that's actually one of my major complaints about this game is that, you know, it's, it's too, it's too difficult, especially matching up with, say, just like your buddies, Unless guys really know what's going on with the matchmaking system and have a rough idea of how to work um, with it, 
you know, you get stuff like this that, like, you know, guys of various levels, you can't even hardly play together because, you know, somebody inevitably, they're running gear that's, like, too high, you know, and then that leaves out the guys that are running too low um, or vice versa, you know, and you can't get in a good game because everyone is uh, so differently equipped and the way Matchmaker takes that into consideration, you know, you, you, you almost have to be, like, a, you know, like an expert on this stuff which you really shouldn't have to be, in my opinion. That's why I kind of think they should just, like, publish, you know, actual official guidelines and let us know, hey, this will put you up against this kind of stuff, you know, and, and I understand it's proprietary and they have competitors and they want to keep all that secret, but that's my two cents on it. Uh, you can see this match. Uh, we're not going to win it, just in case you thought that uh, maybe I was going to do, like, a little ha-ha at the end. No, we lose. So um, I appreciate you guys watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'm going to have some more videos coming up here pretty soon. That's it for this one, and as always, I will see you again next time at the Center Beacon.